it's starting to drizzle a little bit and there's so many people walking around with Canucks jerseys. Must be a game. And what did I read today? I guess in some places there's a lot of war still. And how about this first one here? This one says, explosions rock massive Russian steel plant after drone attack. Is it one of those attack your adversary's supplies? It says explosions have hit a Russian steel maker following a suspected drone attack. It is the latest fire to hit an industrial facility in the country on the second anniversary of its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. There has been a spike of drone strikes in recent months on energy and military infrastructure in Russia, which Moscow often blames in Ukraine. However, Kyiv often does not claim immediate responsibility. The Russians have used drones and missiles in widespread strikes on Ukrainian civilian targets. Igor Adamanov, Lepesk regional governor, said the blades at the main plant of Novolepesk steel on Saturday morning, around 280 miles from the Russian-Ukraine border, was caused by a drone. But Armanov did not specifically mention Kyiv and added there were no casualties. And there were a lot of posts online just, I guess, of this apparent drone strike with all these explosions and all that. Like this one says, AFU drone strike tonight on the NMLK steel plant in Leps, Russia, which is the site of their largest production facility in Russia. Kind of makes me think too, because usually when you read these types of stories, a lot of places want to start claiming they bombed this and that just to, I guess, show that they're strong. Either way, again, the war goes on. And this was kind of interesting as apparently people saw a drone or something like that flying around at McDonald's and they assumed they were going to start doing things like drone delivery. But apparently that was clarified. That's not the case. This one says, identified frying objects. McDonald's set records straight on drone sightings over Dublin outlet. McDonald's have clarified they are not going to be taking to the skies delivering food by drones after images emerged of drones over one of their outlets in West Dublin. However, drone delivery company MANA have confirmed they will be operating a food delivery service in the Blanchardtown area with an announcement of the food outlets who will be involved being made shortly. The images posted to X and other social media platforms in recent days show drones hovering over a McDonald's outlet in Blashentown, leading to the speculation the home of the Big Mac is to start drone deliveries. That's kind of interesting too to think about because in a lot of places when they see a drone they're like oh no it's something that's going to be spying on us and all that whereas this one is more people saying hey is this going to start delivering food? Does that mean there's some changes I guess perception wise in various places? Funny enough when I think about it I've never ordered things like fast food with app delivery services, for example, like those door dashes and all that. And some people were even saying, which surprises me, there could be people only one to two blocks away and they actually use this service to deliver, I guess, the items. So I'm just thinking, isn't that really expensive just for like one or two blocks that you can walk down there? Imagine that for the drone. Two block delivery, for example, you, you pay whatever it is, like a premium, $5 to have it delivered, like that type of thing. And then I was reading this, which was kind of interesting at first. I was like, oh, what's going on here? Did somebody get in trouble flying a drone? But the more I read this article, it made me think of a different topic for things like AI generated article that is actually kind of misleading. You would know probably if you read this, if you're knowledgeable about the topic, but it makes me think of other people. So this is what it says here at first. It says, man book for operating drone on Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. The police have also seized the DGI Mini Pro 3 drone used by the Ahmed Mahinit Siduk, a Mumbai resident, on the sea bridge around 6.30 p.m. on February 22nd. The Navi Mumbai police have registered a case against a 25-year-old man for allegedly operating a drone on the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link in violation of their orders, an official said on Saturday. The police have also seized the DGI Mini Pro 3 drone used by a Mumbai resident, Ahmad Mohadeen Siddiqui, on the sea bridge around 6.30 p.m. on February 22nd, he said. The official said the Navi Mumbai police have issued prohibitory orders over the use of drones on the country's longest sea bridge, and Siddiqui flouted them by operating the flying device. So you see like a lot of weird things so far like calling it DGI like not DJI <laughs> yeah again so to me it didn't seem I guess like it was written by a human and when you read this article I mean other sources they kind of use it as well except in some places like here it specifically says on the bottom when you look at it 
This report is auto-generated from PTI News Service. The print holds no responsibility for its content. So that's just like a general thing where it's like a press release, it's auto-fed. But yeah, would you think this is an AI-generated content? And at the same time, can you imagine how misled a lot of people are? For example, say like DGI, picture of like what, a phantom drone and all that. Like you might think it's like crazy that people would think that way. But that's just because you're knowledgeable about the topic. So imagine this for some other topic that you're not knowledgeable about. You'll just go with it, correct? So imagine in the future when it's only robots, for example, I guess generating these types of articles and all that. Alright, see you guys later.